Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to plant succulents in a pot in a composition. My pot doesn't have drainage holes, therefore I will do a false bottom. If your pot has holes underneath, you also should make a drainage layer to increase drainage capacity of your soil. I will use Lika pebbles as drainage layer. You may use rocks, foam plastic or other available materials. I advise putting mesh above your drainage layer to prevent soil from getting into the drainage layer. I decided to skip this step to see what will happen. I use peat, sand, perlite and vermiculite for my soil mix. I think I should make a video about different soil mixes for cacti, succulents and other indoor plants. There are two ways of planting. Get your plant out of the pot gently and if it has nice root system and you don't need to clean it from old soil, you can just put a root ball in the pot. You can see on the picture how it looks like. But if the plant is small or it doesn't have healthy roots, you need to clean roots from old soil as I do and then plant it. If your succulents have dry leaves, you need to remove them as they can start rotting. In this composition I use Havorthia fasciata concolor, Echeviria pulvinata and Echeviria carnicolor. I will plant a cutting from Echeviria pulvinata. I should leave a bare stem where roots will grow. After cutting, it is desirable to wait until the cut will dry, otherwise the plant will rot and die. But the soil isn't wet, and I will not water the plant for a week or even more to let the plants root in the new soil, so we are not afraid of rotting. Place your plants and make sure that they are in the right position. They should be planted symmetrically. Now it is done. I hope you enjoy it. I like when people in such videos show not only the process of planting, but also a result after several months, to show subscribers that the composition or terrarium is not only beautiful, but also viable. Goodbye, and see you soon. Wait, wait, wait. So, is it viable enough? Well, it is. But there is a minor issue with it. Because I didn't do an appropriate false bottom and didn't provide enough sunlight, some plants got leggy. Echeviria pulvinata, as other fluffy succulents, is very easy to stretch, so they need huge amount of sunlight as for a flat in a temperate climate zone. Other plants look okay. I decided to replant it again in order to fix the problem with the false bottom and trim the leggy echeveria. As you can see, the false bottom is mixed with the soil. Now I use sphagnum moss as a divider between lika and soil. It's cheap and easy to buy for me. In addition, it's eco-friendly and you can use it for any shaped pot. Havorthia fasciata and Echeviria carnicolor are relatively shade-tolerant succulents, so I think it will be better if I use another more or less shade-tolerant succulents in this composition. I think the new Echeviria is Echeviria elegans. It can get leggy easily too, but not so easily as the fluffy Echevirias. The best option in this case is to use Echeviria purpusorum. It doesn't stretch almost at all. That's much better. 
Now you know that when you plant different species of succulents or other plants in one pot, you need to match them by their light and watering requirements. And you need to pay attention to the water drainage. Goodbye, and see you soon in my next videos. Please subscribe.